What's up? It's the black man in Japan uh, doing another bike blog, vlog, whatever. Uh, hey, so I just got off of work right now and um, like always, but I obviously all the E3 stuff was going down when I was working early as this morning and I really actually haven't been able to keep up on anything going on uh, but uh, I've been checking my tweets and um, everything that you guys have been telling me what to do or what to check out what to react to and the main one the main one I just wanted to comment on right now because I don't think I don't think there's any sort of trailer I can react to is the Shinmu revival the Shinmu <laughs> Revival number three, the one that's been in, I don't even know if we could call it development hell. It wasn't even, I, don't, I think it was like in interest for development hell, basically, um, for the long, for, fuck it, God, I think it's been a long time, 10 to 15 years. And look, there's one thing I want to tell you, look, right here, you see this shit? I'm in Japan right now. I'm in Japan right now. As uh, most of you know, I live in fucking Japan, and I I cannot get through my day. I can't get through one vending machine without thinking about that damn game. That's how influential Shinmu was uh, growing up, playing those games in the magic weather. And I can't tell you how many times when I used to live in Osaka. Or, and I used to go down to Kyoto and I would just go down certain different roads and I, I, I Every time I would just walk by and there would be houses and houses that I would think of Shinmu that game was very Very influential and I think any J vlogger Will tell you the same thing um, Unrested one of a good good friend of mine actually very close um, I think for him also Shinmu was a huge huge look at this this is a goddamn castle wall right now you see what i'm saying okay uh for him it was a huge uh influence as well and, and you know i don't I, I wouldn't say i wouldn't go as far as to, to say the reason i'm in japan now is because i was looking for some sailors when i was younger <laughs> but yeah shout out to those who get that from the first shinmu game but for sure i think for a lot of people shinmu was the introduction into Japan culture real Japan culture not some like anime made up fantasy bullshit like Shinmu was as fucking real as it's gonna get for the most part until you know other games like uh, Yakuza came out and um, you know I can't really say I'm the expert on <laughs> Japanese games or whatever but uh, you know for sure Shinmu was the most like realistic and, and like whenever you think about Dreamcast and all that other shit I mean <laughs> yeah it's always Shinmu and you know to be fair to be fair I think I never actually pet played Shinmu 2 because I think the format it came out on uh, wasn't like I don't think it came out if I remember correctly it, it didn't come out on Dreamcast or whatever it came out on another system that I never actually intended on playing and I was kind of mad about that damn somebody help me out like what the hell did Shinmu 2 come out on did it come out on Dreamcast or something else you know what I think Shinmu 2 uh, Shinmu 1 was really released and it came out on Xbox I think that's how it worked and then later, Shinmu 2 came out on Xbox, and I never played it uh, or something because I heard it was disappointing or something like that. I'm trying not to get hit by all these uh, Japanese people. They need to include pizza delivery guys on these little mopeds next time. Take a look at this. So anyways, but anyways, guys, that's the one thing I just wanted to tell you. Um, my influence or what it, yeah, a lot of things that I can't escape nowadays was inspired because of Shinmu driving forklifts being on the harbor you know a lot of the time I'm still on the I live next to the water I don't think because of Shinmu but uh, that was one of the things and you know actually I often think about Shinmu 
in terms of when it comes to tattoos and skin for some reason because there was one particular scene where this tattoo artist wanted to uh, tattoo Ryu real uh, and said how his skin was really nice and shit like had beautiful skin and he would love to decorate it or some shit like that um, yeah guys that was a damn and I remember I, I still remember back in the day I must have been in elementary school or something like that but I remember back in the day when the dude announced that he wanted it like the creator he wanted it to be an eight series game like and even back then I was like what the hell like really eight games it's gonna be eight games to do this so but you know what props to the dude I don't even know that his goddamn name but the creator Props to him for seriously never giving up on his dream, on whatever vision he has, and going to Kickstarter and shit, man. Props to the fans for making this reality, as far as I can tell, this reality happen. It set a whole new Kickstarter record of $2 million, $2 million. from the time I read this morning that it was going on Kickstarter to the point where I'm getting off of work, so an amount of eight hours or so, or something like that. Um, hope I'm not working more than that. <laughs> Two million dollars, god damn. So props to everybody involved for that one. And the next step is to put Akasun in Shin Shinmu. Uh, you know, I don't care if I just play the goofy, nerdy gaijin helping Rio out but um producers people talk to me i will donate a lot of money if they put me in the game i should look and see what the benefits are with the kickstarter program i would not mind that um hey i would not mind that i i think it's 20 million dollars i think or 200 million dollars uh, I need to really I'm gonna look in the details guys, but that's all I wanted to say is let you guys know exactly what sh How influential Shinmu is for people that <laughs> Are living here in Japan uh, That jet grind radio and lots of hentai All right guys, I'll talk to you later. La blue girl